Glad you're with us for another edition of Mondays with Miles. President Brand is off this week, so in for his place is Joni Comstock. She is a Senior Vice President of Championships. So glad to see you, Joni. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Well, you got a big week coming up this week with Division II, the Winter Sports Festival. Is that right? Right. We are very, very excited about uh, heading to Houston, and we will be celebrating, as you said, um, as we do with all of our NCAA championships, the student athletes, their great accomplishments, and so we'll have the opportunity to uh, crown five team national champions and, um, gosh, I guess about 80 individual national champions. So we're, we're excited. Yeah, what is this uh, Winter Sports Festival uh, Division II? Uh, what, what is that really all about? Well, this is our fourth one, and our first one was in, is, was in 2004. And um, as I said, you know, it, it, what we always do is strive to really celebrate the student athlete. Mm -hmm. And in this particular opportunity, this is a very unique way for Division II to honor those student athletes. Certainly, uh, it's focused on their athletic accomplishments, but we also take the opportunity to honor them academically. And we do it in a setting that is a little bit different than our other national champions championships in that we pull a number of um, those national championships together in one community. Wow, and so um, how many student athletes are we talking about for this, this busy week? Well, well over a thousand. Well over a thousand, so, okay, so you got yes. your hands full this week. <laughs> yes, we do. There will be um, obviously a lot of student athletes, a lot of coaches, and, and we also hope a lot of spectators and fans to really uh, be a part of that. And so we'll be um, welcoming uh, the, the wrestlers, uh, men's and women's track and field, and men's and women's swimming. Joni, I want to ask you, um, you know, it's going to be a great week down in Houston, but what right. makes this uh, championship so unique compared to other championships? Well, one of the things, of course, is that we have the opportunity to bring together so many student athletes. Um, and by doing that, uh, we are able to provide really what is just a, a, a very festive opening and closing ceremony that they can interact with one another, uh, support one another, and, and really, in many ways, just get to know one another. So that's that's one of the things that we um, think is, is very, very special. We, we provide smaller things as well, uh, such as a student athlete lounge that they can hang out, if you will, in uh, times when they are not competing. But I think it's that, that aspect of celebrating that national championship, but celebrating it and knowing one another and interacting with one another is, I, I think, one of the very, very special attributes, along with uh, the impact and the connection that we can make in the community. Yeah, can fans, can they watch online these events? Absolutely. Um, um, NCAA.com will have uh, four days of our swimming and diving championships and two days of wrestling and two days of track and field. So all the details, uh, if you want to get times and, and other things with that, you can um, check out NCAA.com and get, get all the details. But yes, all of the, all of the competition will be right there. Uh, and, and how much fun do you have getting a chance to be a part of this special week? Well, it's, it's, it's just very exciting. Um, the, the Division II athletes, I think, don't always get recognized for how outstanding yeah. they really are. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is incredible competition. They are, they are as I said, very accomplished students um, that we are proud of, and the, the competition is, is fierce and uh, just very, very enjoyable, but, uh, but outs you know, absolutely outstanding. So we hope everybody uh, comes out and, and participates and, and is involved in that. Why, would, why is this combined format, would you say, why is this so effective? And why has it been so effective over the years? Well, um, I, I think the main thing is that it's, again, it's, it's an opportunity for us to pull together a lot of national champions and to let them not only celebrate that national championship um, for their own team or them individually, but they can also watch each other's national championship. Obviously, it pulls in a, a greater number of fans, parents, and all of, all of the people who are, who are so interested in Division II um, athletics and they, they can see a wide variety of, of championships um, all at the same time. It, it also allows us to be in a community for a longer period of time and I yeah. think make uh, certainly a, a positive impact on that community. So uh, you know we're again we're looking forward to it and we're extremely proud of it. Yeah and it's going to be in Houston as you yes. mentioned right? right and what has been the reaction uh, from from these student athletes and the fans who have come to this you know this festival over the years? Uh, very enjoyable. Um, really? they, they're very, very excited about the whole thing. Again, they come um, to this to this venue, and the first thing on their minds is, of course, competing for a, for a national championship in whatever sport they're in. Um, in addition to that, we're also uh, we, we're excited and we're proud of the fact that they make an impact in the community by 
uh, youth clinics and, and doing some things with seniors in the community, but, but the focus is um, the very high level of competition that exists um, with those student athletes. All right, Joni, thank you so much for your time. Always good okay, seeing you. Okay, it was nice to see Senior you. Senior Vice President of Championships here at the NCAA. And don't forget for more information on the festival. NCAA.com. All right, that's it from here at the AA Zone with Mondays with Miles. We'll have much more coming up for you next week. We'll see you then.